Hi, I'm Jason with 3D Printing Canada, and today we're going to go over some of the changes that we see in our newest batch of the Creality CR-10S. Compared to our last shipment, when I assembled my printer, there was a few things that I noticed off the bat. They changed back to the two-piece support bracket, the T-bracket here. They had made it integrated into one piece. Now the Z end stop is on a separate bracket again. They still have the insulation under the bed, which was a great addition. On the back, they changed the Z axis couplings that attach the threaded rod to the stepper motor. Uh, instead of being the spring type couplings, they're kind of dual clamp, really solid couplings. Um, they also changed the front y-axis tensioner. Um, previously there were two T-nuts on either side that in my case when I tensioned the belt the T-nuts were almost right out of the aluminum extrusion. In this case there is one screw on either side that just needs to be loosened and there's a groove cut into this metal bracket here that allows it to slide forward and backwards without the T-nuts sliding out the end of the extrusion. One of the improvements that I was really glad to see and I struggled with this when I got my first CR-10 was that they have uh, eccentric nuts on the wheels on the inside of the, technically the X-axis gantry, but as they roll up the extrusions here, the uprights, you can now tension these wheels so they all come into secure contact with the groove. Before, at least on the one side here, there was no way to tension those wheels. So it's good to see that they're making some improvements. They seem to be listening, uh, and we hope to see uh, even further improvements in our next shipment. Remember, like, subscribe, ring the bell to get notified when we upload more content. Thanks for watching.